Zoo and the Pom Pom Monster. You look like you're having trouble there, Zoo. Oh, Grandma, I'll never knit anything you can sell at the fete today. Knitting just takes practice, Zoo. But it's so hard. Maybe we should have helped my dad set up the fete. Or help my dad and Grandpa clear the garage. I'll get it, Pock. They need clothes for the fate's jumble sale. Would you two boys like to help me sort some out from my wardrobe? Yeah. Yes, please. Now, these are all to keep and these are all to go. Ha ha! I am Zoo, the caped crusader. I am Zack. With my magic hat, I am all powerful. <laughs> Not so fast, Zack. Sue the Caped Crusader is after you. Now, now, you two, please be careful. Oh, sorry, <gasps> Nana. I'll have to sew that back on. It's my best cape. <laughs> it's so soft and fluffy. Yes, it's called a pom pom. They're very easy to make. Would you like to try? We just need uh, scissors, wool. And cardboard. <laughs> yes, please, Nana. Oh, uh, no. I don't have any cardboard. Let's go and ask Dad. Come on, Zack. Dad! Dad! <gasps> ah, Zoo! Zack, have you come to help us clear out the garage? We're sorting out some bric-a-brac for the fate. No, we just come to ask if you have any cardboard. Cardboard, hmm. I think we put some in the recycling earlier. Great! We need it to make pom-poms with Nana. Oh, I see. Nana taught me how to do that when I was your age too. <laughs> Nana taught me as well. <laughs> That's all the big bits, Sue. Thanks, Dad. This is great. See you later. See you later. Have fun. My, you have done well. We can make a lot of pom-poms with all that cardboard. I know. Why don't we make some for the fate? Oh, yes, Nana. That's a great idea. Yeah, brilliant. Wonderful. To start with, we need to cut out some circles. Why are you cutting holes in the middle? So you can thread the wool through, Zoo. This is how we get the pom-pom's round shape. Here, let me show you how it's done, and then you can try. Hmm. Not yet, but you'll see soon enough. Just keep wrapping the wool around the circles until you can't mm. see the cardboard. But how is this going to become a pom-pom? Just watch. <gasps> I tie this wool here, then you pull out the cardboard. Now fluff it out. Yay! It's all fluffy! Making pom-poms is so much easier than knitting. I know! Let's make some more! Good idea, Zack! Super! Oh, I say, you have made a lot! Y you know, you could make them into pom-pom animals. Here, I have some sticky felt you can use for faces and feet, if you like. Oh, yes, please, Grandma. Here are some eyes. There. Mm. 
<laughs> it looks like a fluffy, scary monster that's not scary at all. <laughs> They're pom-pom monsters, that's why. Now it's a dancing pom-pom monster. <laughs> pom, 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 pom. <laughs> we need quite a lot of faces and feet for all these pom-poms, Grandma. That's fine, Zoo. I've got a lot of felt. Hello there. Anyone hungry? I've baked some cakes for the fete later, but I made some extra ones. Yummy! Thanks, Mum! Oh, I like these cute pom-pom thingies. They're pom-pom monsters. Oh, they've given me an idea. I'll see you later. You know, perhaps if you two made a big pom-pom monster, you could raffle it at the fete later. Great idea, Nana. I'll get some more cardboard. Oh, it's all gone. Come on, Zack. My dad should have some more. <laughs> This is all the cardboard there is, Zoo. I gave you the bigger pieces earlier. Oh, they're only tiny bits. Sorry, Zoo. Hi, Zoo. Hi, Zach. Hi, Hi Elsie. Elsie. What are you doing? Want to come over and play? We can't play right now, Elsie. We're making a ginormous pom-pom monster. Well, we want to, but we need a big bit of cardboard. Oh, I think I can help. Wait there. <laughs> Hello, Elsie. Is that you hiding behind there? <laughs> <laughs> this is the box from our new washing machine. Mum said you can use it. Brilliant. Thanks, Elsie. Come and help us make it. It's going to be huge. <laughs> See you later. Wow, our pom-pom monster's really going to be a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Same as before, you just thread the wall through the circle. <laughs> <laughs> I can thread it like this. <laughs> <laughs> Here's some eyes and a mouth. Uh, now in his feet. It's so big, he could have a pair of my old shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. One pair of feet. Oh, wow. That's a huge pom-pom monster. We're going to raffle it. Oh, lovely idea. Now, come and see what I've been doing. <laughs> Wow, Mum! Yummy! Your pom-pom monsters gave me the idea. I'm glad you like them. Right, we need to get your pom-pom monsters and go to the fete. Dad and Grandpa have already gone to set up the stand. OK, Mum. Let's go and get them. Little monster cakes, please. And I'll take two. Mummy, can I have a fluffy monster, please? Of course, Zinnia. Oh, my nephew will love these. Grandma, I can't knit, but it shows what you can make when you try. Exactly, Zoo. Sometimes the simplest ideas are the best. Gather round, everybody. It's time to raffle off the very special, very huge, very impressive, biggest ever pom-pom monster. I hope whoever wins it looks after it. Oh, I wish I could keep it. And the winning ticket is... Ooh. Number 11! Oh, oh, that's me! <laughs> <laughs> I've won it, Zoo. Yay! Now I can keep the pom-pom monster forever. Yes. 
as long as you can get it through your bedroom door. <laughs> <laughs> What will you wear to Elsie's fancy dress party today? Well, I was trying to find this. Yeehaw! A cowboy outfit. What a good idea. I'm sure you'll make a great one. Uh, but, you know, being on the ranch all day is hungry work. Perhaps you better have some breakfast? Oh, yes, please. One cowboy size breakfast coming up. Howdy, Zoo. That's a great outfit. You look like you just came off the ranch. Thanks, Dad. I'm Cowboy Zoo. Yeehaw! So, Cowboy Zoo, what are Elsie and Zack going as? I don't know, but I can't wait to find out. Well, I'm sure there'll only be one sheriff. We can make you a badge out of silver foil. Sorry, I used the last of the foil yesterday. Not to worry. We'll go to see Mr. Zoe. He'll have some. <laughs> Yeehaw! Woohoo! Yeah, yeah! Yeehaw! Well, howdy, partner. Hello, Mr. Zoe. Hello. What can I do for you? Howdy, Mr. Zoe. I need some tin foil to make a sheriff badge. Aha! For Elsie's party. Mm-hmm. Now, where did I put it? I, I know it's here because Zack wanted some to make a sheriff's badge mm -hmm. too. You mean he's going as a cowboy as well? Serve me timbers, pieces of eight. A pirate! You're going as a pirate! Yes, and you have to walk the plank. <laughs> oh, Zoo! Watch out for all those sharks! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Why did you change your mind about being a cowboy? Oh, I saw this pirate film and thought it would be fun. <laughs> Pirates are cool! And so are cowboys! <laughs> <laughs> you are, partner. A little gift from Mr Zoe. Thanks, Mr. Zoe. See you later, Pirate Zack. <laughs> This'll make a great sheriff's badge. I think with these, you'll be the best cowboy ever. Thanks, Mum. They look brilliant. Mm -hmm. oh, I I'll go. <laughs> we just had to come by and show you Zinnia's costume. Don't you think she makes a wonderful cowgirl? Uh, yes, her outfit is very good. Good? It's fabulous! Isn't it, my darling? <laughs> yes, it's just the best ever, Mummy. Is that Elsie? <gasps> Snap! Uh. Hmm. So, you should go with something else. But I want to go as a cowboy. Well, okay. Be like that. 
but I'm sure to win. My costume is much better than yours. Hmm. Come along now, my darling. Yes, Mummy. Bye-bye, Zoo. Bye, Zinnia. What am I going to do, Grandpa? The party is this afternoon. How am I going to find a new costume in time? <sighs> Don't worry, Zoo. We'll think of something. Cheer up, Zoo. Three heads are better than one. Perhaps you could go as a pirate. Zack's going as a pirate. Oh. Hmm. I have an idea. All we need is the rest of the tinfoil and Zoo's white ski suit. Why, Grandpa? <laughs> Come with me. What are you doing, Grandpa? Yes, what are you up to? I'll give you a clue. Think of somewhere far, far away. It only comes out at night, and it's big and round, and you walk on it like this. The moon! A space suit! You're making a space suit! That's right, a space suit! You're going to be an astronaut! Grandpa, you're the best! Well, come on, you two. There's lots of sticking to do. Now all you need is a spaceship. Yes, Zoo makes a perfect astronaut. <laughs> and you know, I think I like being a spaceman even better than being a cowboy. Hmm. Hmm? I'll go. Hi, Zoo. Hi, Elsie. I ran out of white cotton for my costume. Do you have any? I don't know. Mum, do you have any white cotton? Hello, Elsie. Hello. Yes, we do. Here you are. Thank you. I have to hurry if I'm going to finish my spacesuit costume. Did you say spacesuit? Yes. What's your outfit? Uh, um, I have to finish it. Okay. I'll see you later. Bye, Elsie. Grandpa! Mum! Help! What's wrong, Zoo? Elsie's got a spacesuit too. Oh. Hmm. What am I going to do? We can't both be spacemen. Hmm. I can't go to the party now. Zoo, calm down. We'll think of something. But, Mum, there's no time. Time? Mm hmm. Hmm. You know, Zoo, that gives me an idea. What if you went back to the beginning of time, back to the very first zebras in the world? Huh? You could go to the party as a cave zebra. Now, uh, look here, Zoo. We could make you a wonderful costume. I I'm sure no one else has thought of it. Grandpa, that's great. But where am I going to get all that hair from? Grandma has an old wig. Oh, you're right. Come on, Zoo. Let's ask her if you can use it. Oh, here you are. Might be a bit long on you. Thanks, Grandma. Okay, you two. You move the comb backwards and forwards like this. Like this? Yes, that's the way. You two get on with that and I'll finish the rest of your costume. I hope we make it in time. Oh, of course we will. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Mummy, my costume is the best. I'm sure to win the prize. Of of course you will, darling. You can do anything you want. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> That's 
a really good costume, Zoo. Brilliant wig. Yes, you make the best caves ever, ever. Thanks. <laughs> 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 Okay, everyone, I think we're ready to announce the winner of the fancy dress competition. Oh, thank you, everyone. I'd just like to say... Zinnia, uh, I didn't announce the winner yet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who won, Grandpa? You're all winners, Zoo. Everyone has tried very hard with their costumes. The most original costume is... Zoo for his cave, Zebra! Hooray! Yeah! Well done! Go, Zoo! Here you are, Zoo. Thanks, Elsie. Wow! Oh, oof. Wow! That was hairy! <laughs> <laughs> last night. Go on. The mighty Mysterioso. He was brilliant. He made this rabbit appear out of a hat. And he even walked through a solid wall. Then he put a lady in the wardrobe and she disappeared. Hmm. So I've decided I'm going to be a magician when I grow up. Alakazam! I thought you were going to be a racing driver. No! That was yesterday. See you, Olsey. See you later, Zoo. <laughs> I'm home. Alakazam. And hello to you too. What's Alakazam supposed to mean? It's my special magic word. I just magicked you to make you disappear. But... I'm glad it didn't work. <laughs> well, I've done a little bit of magic today as well. You have? Mm-hmm. In the kitchen. Oh, hello there, Zoo. Hello, Zoo. Hello, Grandpa. Hi, Grandma. Mum says she's done some magic. Ready? Abracadabra. Choc chip cookies, my favourite. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> They're your favourite too, aren't they, Pock? Mm. Now, not too much or neither of you will have room for dinner. Of course. Making cookies isn't real magic. Not like the magic I'm going to do when I grow up. Oh, I don't know. These cookies are enchanted. Take a bite of one of these and you can do proper magic. Hmm? Now, if I just go behind this door and you say a magic word... Hmm. Oh, and wave your wand three times. <laughs> Alakazam! One, <laughs> two, three! Huh? Grandpa's disappeared! Boo! Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa! <laughs> See? What did I say? Magic! <laughs> that wasn't magic, Grandpa. It was. When you're Grandpa's age, it's magic if you can run that fast. <laughs> 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 What did Mum say? Still, 
If I'm going to be a magician, I'll need some magic stuff, but I haven't got any. Ah, well, maybe I can help you there. <gasps> a magic set, eh? Yes, I believe I have got one of those in stock. And if memory serves me correctly, it ought to be right here. Wow! Thanks, Mr Zoe. You're welcome, Zoo. Thanks, Grandpa. Alakazam! Oh, very good. <gasps> <laughs> That's clever. Alakazam! Whoops! Hmm. Hmm. It's a good magic set, Grandpa. But what I need is a really, really good trick. Like the mighty Mistrioso. Hmm. You mean something like the magic he used when he made his assistant disappear? It may be... Uh, hmm. I think I've got the very thing. Yes, that's just what you need. Come on, Zoo. Here we go. This is the magic box that's going to help you make your assistant, Pock, disappear. How does it work, Grandpa? <laughs> Look, it's easy. You open the door and your assistant gets inside. Oh, and don't worry, Pock. There's a door at the back of the box which you can disappear through before Zoo says, Halakazam! and opens the door again. Now we just have to paint it and make it look nice for your show this evening. I'm looking forward to this. Mm. Oh, there's nothing I like more than a bit of magic. Except a macaroon. Oh, I do love a macaroon. And a nice... Shh! The show's about to begin. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the magnificent Zuprindo. Oh! Hooray! <laughs> This is your newspaper. Am I correct? Uh, yes, that's mine. Uh, but hang on, I haven't read the sports results yet. No matter, sir. Alakazam! There! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All in one piece. Well, well, well. I see City beat United quite handsomely. And now for my next trick, I will need the help of an assistant. Alakazam! How did he do that? Do you think he could magic me a macaroon? <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please, for the best magic trick in the magnificent Zuprendo show. Before your very eyes, my assistant will disappear. Hmm? <laughs> Please be silent, as this trick needs a lot of concentration. One, two, three, Alakazam! Forever. So, to magic him back, Alakazam! Ta da! Oh. 
Shall we have some refreshments while we wait for Pock? Pock! Where are you? <gasps> Where can he have gone? Bizu! Pock must have done a disappearing act all the way to the kitchen and then helped himself to some more of my cookies. Isn't that right, Pock? So, I'm not really magic after all. Well, that's a relief. I would have been very sad if you disappeared forever, Pock. And I wouldn't have been pleased if he'd disappeared all the cookies I made. Oh, no, would I? <laughs> That was a wonderful show, Zoo. <laughs> it was, um... Magic? Magic. <laughs> <laughs>